What's up YouTube, it's Josh Hewitt from Top 4 Fitness. It's time to do it with Hewitt. In this video I want to do a product review of the footwear I'm using to train in right now. It's something I came across called Zero Shoes. Here's an example of one of them. Very flexible, very lightweight, yet durable and provides enough protection if you want to train outside. Now I'm a big proponent of minimalist footwear, training as close to barefoot as possible. Uh, I really believe that if your foot is allowed to move naturally, that increases muscle activation, uh, it's much better for your posture. When you're using footwear that's very rigid or has a lot of cushioning, uh, I don't believe it's the healthiest way to train and it's not the best for allowing your body to move naturally. So ultra supportive or ultra cushiony footwear or rigid footwear, not so great. The more your foot can move, the better. So I've been using things like uh, Chuck Taylor's training in Chucks or Vibrams, been great for my feet. Uh, and this is about as close to barefoot as you can get without actually, you know, going barefoot. So I have a few different pairs of the Zero Shoes to show you here. First of all, this is a, a pair that I got called uh, the Cloud and Zero Cloud. And it's got these strings, uh, basically, that go between your toes and the strap that goes around the heel. So if you're training with it, these aren't going to slide around. They got a really good... Uh, system on the website for finding the right size for your feet. Uh, they got a sheet you can print out and put your foot on it and size it all out and enter that data so you make sure when you order it you're getting the right size. Um, but the nice thing about these is they're really really lightweight, very flexible. They, you know, they don't take up any space in your gym bag. The thing I didn't like about these is for me having something between the toes, I don't know, that feels weird to me. So, so this piece here wasn't a big fan of working out in those. Now these are going to be my beach shoes, so basically going to the going to the beach or on vacation, perfect. Love them, very comfortable that way. Running in them or working out in them, not so much for me. The next ones I have here, these are called uh, Z Trail. So same idea, very lightweight, very flexible. A little bit more support. And instead of going between the toes, they have this strap that goes over the top of the foot. And again, at the back, the heel support, so it's not going to slide around when you're training in them. Uh, it can be well adjusted, you know, once you get that fit to, to your foot as far as the base, you can adjust the back with uh, Velcro. And at the sides, there's straps to adjust. So it's completely adjustable. Uh, again, very lightweight, very flexible, a little bit more support. Uh, you've got a little bit of a cup at the heel to hold your foot in place there. I've been using these in the gym. I really like them for uh, basic strength training exercises. When you're doing exercises like squats and deadlifts, you really want to have a good transfer of force from your feet to the floor anyway. And these have been perfect. But they just came out with a new shoe. Uh, which is called the Z Trail. Very similar idea to the Z Trek, but these ones are a little thicker, and you can see here a little bit thicker sole, still very flexible, slightly more rigid than the other ones. Um, but these ones, and a little, not quite as wide, not quite as much of a, a cup at the heel. Um, same idea, idea with the straps. I, and I much prefer the straps over the, the little the toe space thing, but. That's just me as far as my preference for comfort. Um, but I actually really like these ones for training in, uh, especially if I'm doing anything where I'm jumping around a little bit and for outdoor training, for running trails, uh, or if you're you know, training on uneven terrain, gives you enough protection, gives your feet enough protection, but still lets them move naturally. They also have these do-it-yourself, and I think this is what they first came out with, was these, uh, the base that you buy fit to your, your foot size, and then it's got the holes to put in the strings for the straps. And you basically, you choose what color and design you want for the bottom. Uh, you choose what color uh, straps you want, your strings you want, and you make them up yourself. And so you can design your own based on fashion and function. And again, very lightweight, very minimal. And a little bit of tread on the bottom for traction. So I've been using these shoes regularly in my last few workouts and I find they give me just the right amount of protection while still letting my foot move naturally. Uh, and yeah, it might be a bit of a fashion faux pas to wear socks and sandals, but you know, I've always been a one to uh, set new trends. Uh, 
uh, make a strong fashion statement. And as you know, a lot of gyms won't let you train in bare feet, but they might let you get away with wearing these sports sandals. So I posted an article down below with some suggestions on foot exercises for fixing your feet, uh, some tips on footwear, uh, as well as an interview with the founder of Zero Shoes. I also have a link there to the zeroshoes.com website. Check that out to find out more about it. I hope you found this video helpful. If you liked it, give it a like. Post your questions and comments down below. Hit that subscribe button. And until next time, stay strong.